match microphone in his hand so he went to go put it in the trash because you shouldn't play with matches because you can get in the what that's what oh no oh no he you he did he flushed it is that a good idea who's got a good idea who knows what to do with matches for real for real come on up come on up don't be shy What's your name? Turn around. Now, what would you do with matches if you find them? Throw them away. That's right. Let's give Alejandra a big hand. She throws them away. Good job. Anybody else wants to know her? Come on up. Be brave. What's your name? Timmy. All right, Timmy. Come on over here so everyone can see your nice smile. Now, what do you do with matches? Throw them in the trash. Excellent. Let's give them a big hand. Yeah? Okay, come on over. One more, one more. What do you do with matches? I throw them in the trash. Uh -huh. Can you think of anything else to do with them? You can throw them away somewhere. Yeah, or you can give them to somebody. Who can you give them to? Like our friends. Yeah. Oh, maybe your mom. Oh, we got another one. Well, what's your name? What's your name? Hang on. Well, okay, she got away. Okay, come on over here, mister. What's your name? Alright, thank you for sharing. Let's give them a big hand. That's a big name. <laughs> well, everyone, did you enjoy the show? Yeah. Who had fun? Come on. Hey, cool. Well, you know what? I was telling you guys at the beginning of the show that I do make these marionettes myself. Did you guys know that? I'm like an artist. So who would like to spend some time right now and learn about puppets? I'm serious. All right, well, put your hands in your laps because I've got a big box that I want to share with you, okay? But before I bring them out, let me teach you something. All of these puppets in the show today had strings, right? Did you see the strings? Those puppets are called marionettes. Now, everybody say marionettes. Marionette. Everyone say one more time, marionettes. Marionette. They are puppets on strings. Hey, would you like me to go get MC Hamster back out here? But I gotta get the match out of the toilet first, okay? And he flushed it. Here he is. This is MC Hamster, you guys, in the show. Now I have a question. These marionettes on strings, can they get up and uh, move around by themselves? Yeah. How come? Because yeah. they're not real. Why? What else? How come else they can't move? Why else? No. <laughs> He's not even alive to be dead. Let me pick him up. See, now he can move. Look, I can pull some strings. Look, see. Let's on the, let's on the Look, he can do the shimmy shimmy coco pop. He can sing in his microphone, blink his eyes. Look, he can do the splits. And 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 he can shake his booty too. <laughs> now, boys and girls, these puppets on strings are called marionettes. The word marionette is a French word. You know, in France, they speak French. Did you know that? Yeah. In Mexico, they speak Spanish, right? In Japan, what do they speak in Japan? Japanese. Japanese, good. 
Well, in France, they speak French, and the word marionette is a French word that means little Mary. You see, a long time ago, they used to make characters from the Bible, and the word little Mary actually means little Mary right out of the Bible. They used to make the figures. Isn't that cool? So next time when you guys are on Jeopardy, you can get that one right, okay? All right, well, everyone, let's give a big clap for the marionette. Will you be called these again? Oh, come on, I want to hear everybody one more time. Marionette. Good. Marionettes are puppets on strings. Would you guys like to see some more? Yeah. Cool. The next one that I would like to share with you today is called a hand puppet. Do you know why we call these a hand puppet? Because you put your hand in it right. Hi, boys and girls. Do you know who I am? No, I'm Scooby-Doo. Oh, just a minute. You're not Scooby-Doo. You are Officer McGruff the Crime Dog. Well, that's right. Let's all help take a bite out of Frank's ear. Hey, that's not funny. It's not take a bite out of my ear. It's take a bite out of crime. Well, aren't you a criminal? <laughs> Me? No. Well, you kids must be criminals. You're all under arrest. No. Excuse me, officer. You're not supposed to come out here and arrest the kids. You're just, a, you're just supposed to tell them what kind of puppet you are. Oh, that's easy. I'm the best kind. Ruff, 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 ruff. I think he wants you to sit down. Sit down, okay? Go sit down. Officer, that's not polite biting kids. Now listen, why don't you tell the kids what kind of puppet you are? Oh, that's easy. I'm the best kind. You guys want to hear a funny joke? Yeah. All right, just a minute. What's this? No, it's me without my trench coat. Sorry, I didn't know he was going to do that joke. What'd you do that joke for? Always good for a laugh. All right, let me, well, let's clap for the hand puppet. He's funny, huh? The next one I want to show you is called finger puppets. Do you know why we call them finger puppets? Because you put them on your fingers. That's right, boys and girls. Finger puppets are really cool because guess how many puppets you can do at one time? Five. five. Look, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. And if I had another set, ten. Can you imagine doing ten puppets at the same time? Wow. How many marionette puppets can I do? One. Only one. But they do blow bubbles and blow on the trapeze. That's cool. Finger puppets, they don't do too much. But you can do five. Hey, do you guys know your animals? What animal is this? A monkey. A monkey. Good one. How about this one? A zebra. A zebra. A lion. A lion. A giraffe. A giraffe. Good. How about this one? A tiger. Hey, how many of you kids know your animals in Spanish? I can teach you. Chango. Zebra. Hey, that sounds the same. Look, zebra, zebra. Leon. Girafa. Tigre. Como yo. What kind of puppets do we call them that you put on your feet? Sock puppets. No, stinky ones. Yeah. Ah, just kidding. Yeah, you're right. They are sock puppets. Now, boys and girls, everybody has extra socks at their house. So don't throw away your extra socks. You can put your extra socks on your hand and make some really cool sock puppets. Aren't those fun? Yeah. And if you don't have fancy eyes like this, you can use buttons or a marker and you can draw them on. But either way, everyone can go home today and make their own puppets out of socks. Hey, what could you use for hair? Does anybody have an idea? Yeah. String. Good. What, what's your idea? Yeah, oh, mean your real hair? <laughs> well, that's a good idea, but all right, here we go. Boys and girls, our sauce puppet's got to go. Now you can see he likes chocolate milk. Do you see his dirty spot? Yeah, that's his chocolate milk. How many of you kids like chocolate milk? Oh, you do? Hey, do you like chocolate milk too, Mr. Sock Puppet? <laughs> Excuse me, what did you say? Oh. Are you trying to say something? I don't speak that language. I speak Spanish, but I don't speak. Well, Sock Puppet, how about if we show some kids some more puppets? All right, everyone say bye-bye to the Sock Puppet. Hi, everybody. You all know who I am? I'm the little red hand, that's right. Now, boys and girls, would you like to make a puppet just like me? 
Okay, or you can make a dog, a cat, or a mouse. Now, boys and girls, what does a dog sound like? <laughs> good, good. What does a little mouse sound like? Good, good, that's right. What does a kitty cat sound like? Are you sure? That sounds like babies. Babies crying. All right, how about me? What does a little red hen sound like? No, no. I don't sound like that. I sound like this. Get busy! Uh, what did you say? I said get busy! What's the matter with you? Well, because I'm a good worker, so I said get busy, everybody. All right, let's clap for the good worker. <laughs> My name is Frank with Franklin Hayes Marion. Did you guys have fun? Oh boy!